She was an original co-sponsor of the Protect Women's Sports Act. She's a proud American serving in the U.S. Army Reserves as a lieutenant colonel and a vocal supporter of leveling the playing field for women and girls in sports. She's a supporter of Independent Women's Forum, Bill, the Bill of Women's Bill of Rights. Let's hear it for none other than Tulsi Gabbard. Come on up. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so good to be here with all of you as we celebrate this amazing 50th anniversary of Title IX. And as we gather here in celebration of the incredible progress that's been made over decades, I can't help but think of the many women who fought so hard to enact this historic legislation. I also can't help but wonder what they would think about the fact that we would have to gather on a day like this and what now is seen as an expression of courage to say the thing that a lot of these noisemakers and protesters don't want others to hear, which is, wait for it, there is such a thing as a woman. We do exist. It is the height of hypocrisy that as we stand here today, there are those who claim to be feminists, who claim to be champions for women's rights, who are at the very same time simultaneously denying the fact that we exist. Denying the fact that there is a woman that is biologically distinct from a man. The Biden administration's actions today are seeking to erase the entire female sex and reject the objective reality that there are biological and physiological differences between men and women. This is the height of disrespect, offense, and what at its core is a hatred for women. Because if you love women, if you supported us, then you would take a stand for our women and girls. This point about the rejection of the objective reality is important. If a man can become a woman simply by declaring it to be so, then there is nothing that is real, there is nothing that is true, then anything can go. We've seen 50 years of progress since Title IX, but the future of Title IX, the opportunities that have come about because of it, are at peril because of the actions and policies coming from the Biden administration and Congress's failure to act thus far to protect women and girls in sports. So I am so proud to stand with these incredible athletes that who are here today bringing voice to so many who are unable to exercise their own voice and bringing voice to kids like my goddaughter Liberty. She is two years old and she is a ball of fire. I can't wait to see what she does. We are gathering here today for kids like my friend's daughters, Lara, Ivy and Lynette, who are competitive wrestlers in Oklahoma, and they are kicking ass every day. It is for them that we take a stand for the truth. It is for them that we take a stand together as Americans, express this call to action to everyone across the country to demand that Congress and the President take immediate action to uphold the original intent of Title IX and protect the lives, futures, and well-being of women everywhere. Thank you for your courage in standing here today. Let's continue to fight for our future. Thank you, aloha. Yeah. It's been a ride.